research can become challenging and uh, sometimes it might sound abstract but you're constantly gonna need two things one is technical knowledge and the other is lifestyle approaches both of them are equally important and must go hand in hand in order to make the most of it so let's talk about the technical aspect of research uh, first will be your area of interest by area of interest we mean like uh, which area or which particular field you find fascinating is important because then you're going to enjoy doing particular research in that area. You should know how to search the literature and how to critically appraise the literature in order to get the best background knowledge. The concept of SEP, MR, EDR should always be active in your brain. This is the research crux. Well, S stands for summary. Summary means like what type of a study you're doing, what's your subject area of interest, which journal you're aiming to and when you're aiming to. Conflicts of interest or ethical considerations. A stands for aim. It should be clearly focused, important and should add something to literature called novelty. P or population tells us what are the inclusion and exclusion criteria, characteristics of participants, location and other aspects of settings. Method is the longest and it tells us the different types of study designs, sample size and calculation, what kind of variables we are dealing with and other important terms that we will discuss later in the upcoming videos. Before giving results, we must exclude chance, bias, confounding as these are important terms and will be discussed later in the subsequent videos. External validity or generalizability discussion, relevance or clinical feasibility or reproducibility, all these factors must be taken into consideration before giving final conclusion of your study. So choosing your subject area of interest and gathering all background knowledge and searching the literature and critically appraising the literature are important technical aspects of research. The concept of SEP, MR, EDR should always be active in your brain whenever you're doing research in order to produce professional quality documents. A researcher's life's approaches can make a huge difference. Uh, first and foremost is understanding. Understanding is crucial. In order to understand, you must collect all background information. Where you feel stuck, try and contact experts so that you understand things properly. This step is so crucial because this is going to make your life much easier from a research point of view. Second thing that we may underestimate is organization of documents because things that we are going to need again and again for your references must be organized. Otherwise, they are going to drag away a lot of your time and energy and will make you more irritable and take your motivation away. Each task requires a unique specific skill. For example, if you are writing a discussion part of the paper or your study, then you can't repeat stuff. You need to give unique specific skills in order to produce good quality content for your research work. Also the temptation to finish off quickly is a nightmare for a researcher because that's where the quality of your study graph goes really down and you will create more room for errors because sometimes you have to submit an article and you get stuck and then you make more mistakes and as a result you become frustrated. Keep reminding yourself that studying for long hours is not going to help you so taking healthy breaks is going to improve your performance and you will behave as a more professionally sound researcher. So taking short breaks, keeping yourself hydrated, stretching are all important. Be positive and reward yourself and keep motivating and exercising because these things will keep you going in the long run. To sum up, if you want to produce professionally sound research documents and you need technical skills in conjunction with healthy life approaches, both of them must go hand in hand. Without one another, you can't succeed. So if you follow these technical skills alongside healthy life approaches, then you will find your research piece of work more fascinating and enjoyable. Keep watching Research Ram if you want to take your research skills to the next level. Thank you.